Daryl, a thoroughly convincing victory for your side this afternoon. How would you sum that one up? Well, I thought, uh, obviously, the start we had in the first 20, 25 minutes of the game, we, we started really positive, really bright, and, and to score four goals obviously makes the afternoon a lot easier. But uh, really pleased in the, the performance as a whole. Ruthless? Yeah, no, it's nice to see. We've scored some goals, so we've got back into positive on our goal difference and a clean sheets. Another Brucey bonus. So, uh, for me, the response from the lads when I it was uh, highly critical after the Shrewsbury game, and I think the response and the performances have been uh, have been very good, and the, the group's in good form as it stands at the minute. Ellis Harrison scored a hat trick, and I think it was six minutes forty one seconds. Have you uh, have you known a, a hat trick as quick as that in your in your playing career? I'm not going to hear the end of it. I know that one. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, listen, yeah, for me, Ellis gets his rewards. He's He's maturing into a to a player that you know we know what he's capable of. I think he's having a very solid season, albeit he'd be disappointed that he hadn't added more goals to it today. He, you know he got his rewards for what it's been a been a period for him where he's he's been playing really well, and uh, to get four goals today he's, he'll be absolutely delighted with, it and he deserves it. And that's what hard work does. And listening to coaches and and myself and you know the penny's starting to for me finally drop with him and he's. He's such a powerful player on his day, but you see him working back in the corner, working back for the team, winning his headers. You know, he had a sloppy 10, 15 minute spell in the, the first half where he got maybe got a little bit carried away, but then he was back to his best second half. So really good individual performance, but a really good team performance as well. What has he most improved on, do you think, in the last 12 well, months? Well, this is, this is what I keep telling people. That group there was all with me last season, the starting 11. Do you know what I mean? I think the bench was as well, to be honest. Minus Keller Roos. So it just goes to show, which you don't get in football so much, that continuality in working on players hard on the coaching field, how much this group's improved. And that's testament to the players. I asked a lot of questions in my squad, like I say, against Shrewsbury, because that wasn't an acceptable performance. You see me last week when we got beat 4 1 to Charlton, as in three individual errors cost us the game, which is different. But for me, the performance was, was an OK one. And for me, the, the performances since that Shrewsbury game has been have been very good, and we've we've managed to get a few wins on the board as well, which is which is great. And so, is there still more? So, can you can you squeeze even more out of this it's, bunch? You know, we've we played really well against the Northampton team that won League Two really well. You know, uh, we've managed to go nine points in front of them. We've gone into eighth in the league, and I've spent nothing. So I think the stats are. They're there for all to see, aren't they? For me. And these boys are getting tremendous support from our supporters. Another good attendance today. And they, they keep delivering, they keep working hard and trying to improve. They've got to as well, by the way. There's no let up with me. So uh, I'm just really pleased with the response since the Shrewsbury game there. A lot of people, including myself, including myself, was asking a lot of questions and they've responded great. And um, does a result like this just sort of take the heat off people talking about the transfer window a little bit? Uh, listen, that probably won't change. You lot bored the death out of me, don't you, with your questions on that. You're always, you've always you got something. Sometimes it's nice to get a bit of intelligent questions from, from journalists of why I did something, other than you've made the changes. Well, what, I, why didn't anybody ever ask me why I made the changes and, and whatnot? But uh, listen, that's the way we work in here. I love you guys, really, but that's, that's football. And when you look at the table now, to be just, what, couple of points or a point I think it is off the top six um, how does that I just represent wanna, sort of progress? We don't get carried away I think that group's shown that haven't they the last couple of years we don't get carried away uh, it's only the manager that gets really angry when we lose and uh, the players to be fair they'll, they'll dust themselves down and we'll try and put on another good performance next week against Fleetwood so uh, for me the period of the amount of games we've played in a short space of time I'm delighted to get nine points out of the twelve and um, we knew obviously Peter Hartley would be missing today. You told us before the game that Dan was also missing. Is his problem a long term one, or would you expect to have him back in the reckoning soon? You'll have to wait and see, wouldn't you? <laughs> we'll see what comes of it. Eh? I'm not at least fine, by the way, for going on Instagram and putting his injury on there, so I'm not happy with him anyway. So I haven't picked up the phone yet. But uh, all joking aside, I don't see any point in, in publicising injuries. He might be back next week, he, he might not be, we'll see.